Hello everyone, welcome to our special Techno channel. Last session we learned you how to preview the layers, publish relative data and also create a layer group. In this session, we want to talk about the steps of adding a style layer by Joe server. If you want to know more details about it, watch the rest of this video. Joe special data has no intrinsic visual component and it must be styled in order to see data. Styling specifies color, thickness, and other visible attributes used to render data on a map and it's really important in the web. In Joe server, styling is accomplished using a markup language called Style Layer Descriptor or SLD for short. SLD is an XML-based markup language that addresses the need for users and software to be able to control the visual portrayal of the Joe special data. The ability to define styling rules requires a styling language that the client and servers can both understand. In this session, we will explore the style section and how you can create styles to produce beautiful maps. From the data menu, navigate to style section. In this page, you can add a new style, remove a style, and view or edit an existing style. The buttons for adding and removing a style can be found at the top of the styles page. To add a new style, click add a new style button. You will be redirected to the new style page, which is the same as the style editor data tab. The data tab includes basic style information, the ability to generate a style and legend details. This style data area has mandatory basic style information. Name. It's the name of the style and it must be a unique name, for instance, reverse underline SLD. Workspace. Styles can be inside workspaces which causes restrictions. In other words, the styles in a workspace can only be assigned to the services of that, and other services outside it cannot use these styles. Styles also can be global or no workspace, so they don't have any restrictions and services can use for all suitable styles. Format It's the format of this style. Default options are SLD and zip formats and to use other formats such as CSS and YSLD depending on availability, you should be download and install extensions. Make sure to match the versions of the extension to the version of the Joe server instance. Here we select SLD. The style content area allows you to generate a style, copy an existing style or upload a style file. Generate a default style. Select a generic style based on geometry. Options are point, line, polygon, raster, and generic. Click generate when selected. Copy from existing style. Select an existing style in Joe server and copy its content to this style. Not all styles will work with all layers. Click copy when selected. Upload a style file. Click on choose file button and select a plain text file on your local system to add as the style. Click Upload when selected. So in the list of default style, we select Line Style and click the Generate link. The Legend area allows you to preview the legend for this style. Click on the Preview Legend link to generate the legend based on the current settings. At the bottom of the Style Editor page is a number of options. Validate. It will test the current style for correctness according to the format option as selected. Apply. It makes the change to the style and remain on the style editor page. This is useful to update the layer preview tab. Save. It makes the change to the style and returns to the styles page. Cancel. It cancels all changes to the style and returns to the styles page. During editing and especially after editing is complete, you can check validation of the syntax by clicking the validation button at the bottom. If any validation errors are found, they will be display a red message and if no errors are found, you will see the green message. Now click apply on the new site to save it and gain access to all tabs and finally click the save button. After having created the site, it's time to apply it to the reverse layer. Now go to the Data and Layers section, then click on Rivers to open the Layers Properties for. Switch to the Publishing tab. Go to the Style section and from the default style list select Rivers underline SLD, then click on the Save button. Go to the Layer Preview section and open up Open Layers Preview for the Rivers layer. Your map should now look as shown in the screen. 
Editor style. On the size page, click a style name, for example, simple underline streams to open the style editor. The style editor page presents the style definition. The page contains four tabs with many configuration options. Data. It includes basic style information, the ability to generate a style and legend details that describe in the previous section. Publishing. It displays which layers are using this style. Layer preview. This tab previews the style with an associated layer while editing. Layer attributes. It displays a list of attributes for the associated layer. Let's back to the data tab. On all tabs, the editor box will display the style definition at the bottom allowing for direct editing of the style. Switch between the tabs in order to facilitate the style creation and editing. The style editor supports line numbering, automatic indentation, and real-time syntax highlighting. You can also increase or decrease the font size of the editor. You can see some buttons on the top of the editor box such as Undo Redo Go to the desired line. Auto format the editor contents. Find the style text. Find its occurrence in the style text. Find and replace in the style text. First, enter the search term, press enter, then type the replace term and press enter again. Insert the image into style. Choose existing image or upload a new image. Choose color. Change the font size in the editor. Change height of the style editor. Publishing tab. The publishing tab displays a list of all layers on the server with the purpose of showing which layers are associated with the current style. Layers can set a single default style and have any number of additional styles. If this style is set to be either of these options for a layer, it will be shown with a checkbox in the table. Workspace. Workspace of the layer. Layer. Name of the layer. Default. Shows whether the style being edited is the defaulted for a given layer. Associated. Shows whether the style being edited is an additional style for a given layer. In order for more descriptions, check the associated checkbox for reverse layer, then click on save. Open the layer preview map. Your map is still presenting the reverse style, and that you didn't change the default style. Click the button on the top left of the map to show the options toolbar known as toggle option toolbar. From the styles drop down list, select simple underline streams. Your map will suddenly be updated with the introduced style. Open the reverse underline SLD style. Layer Preview tab. The Layer Preview tab allows you to view the current style on any layer while editing, make changes, and see them without having to navigate ever from the page. Joe Server tries to identify which layer should be shown, for example, a layer for which its style is the default. But if the layer being previewed isn't the desired one, click the layer name above the preview box and select the layer. It's very common to have to iterate your styles and test how the visualization changes over time. Layer Attributes tab The Layer Attributes tab will display a list of attributes for the given associated layer. Similar to the Layer Preview, the Layer Attributes tab allows you to preview the attributes associated with the preview layer. This can be useful for determining what attribute to use for labeling or how best to configure scale-dependent rules. Here is a listing of the attributes in the table. Name Name of the attributes of the layer Type Type of the attributes It can be a string, a numeric such as line, or a geometry such as point. Sample Sample value of attributes taken from the data Mean Minimum value of the attributes in the dataset, if applicable. Max. Maximum value of the attribute in the dataset, if applicable. Compute states. Click Compute to calculate the mean and max values for the attribute, if applicable. Note. The layer used for the preview can be changed by clicking the layer name at the top of the page. Generating SLD styles with QGIS. QGIS includes a sophisticated style editor with mini-map rendering possibilities. 
Raster style is generated but QGIS with at least version 3.4.5 can be exported to SLD for use in Java server. But if you are using QGIS version 3.4.4 and earlier, you need to download SLD for raster plugin to export SLD to use in Java server. Here is a step-by-step -step guide to style a raster layer for Java server. Open QGIS minimum version 3.4.5. Load the raster layer to the screen, for example, dem layer. Double click the layer to open the properties dialog and switch to the symbology page. Choose a single band pseudo color from render type, then select linear method for interpolation and select desired color ramp. Click the classify button to generate a new color classification. Now click the apply button to save this classification. Then at the bottom left of the page, choose a style and save a style. Choose a name, for example, dem underline SLD, and export it in the SLD format. Then placing the file in the desired location. Now go in your server and from site section, click on add a new style link to open the editor form. Click the choose file button and go to the folder containing your file and select it. Click on the upload link next to the choose file button. Your file is loaded in the editor form. To check if you misspelled something, click on validate. When it returns no errors, click on the save button. Now go to the layers from data section and click on them to open the layers properties form. Switch to the publishing tab. Go to the style section and set them underline SLD as default style. Click on the save button. Finally, go to the layer preview section and open up open layers preview for the dem layer. Your map should now look as shown in the screen. Remove a style. To remove a style, click the checkbox next to the style. Multiple styles can be selected at the same time. Click the remove selected style link at the top of the page. You will be asked for confirmation and click OK to remove the selected style. In this session, we learned you the steps of adding a style layer by Joe Server and QGIS. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. You can give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to know more information around the publishing shapefile and Jotif data in Joe Server, we recommend you to watch the suggested video. Have a good time!